Hello, everyone. We made it here to Washington, D.C. for what I am lovingly calling Congress Camp Day Zero. Democratic Representative-elect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York is the youngest woman to be elected to Congress. During her first week on the job, she has decoded the political process and revealed some discreet corners of Capitol Hill, all on Instagram. What happens when you actually check into orientation? You get a swag bag. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Ocasio-Cortez has been live broadcasting congressional orientation, speaking directly to her viewers and constituents in a way members of Congress have never done before. See ya! This strategy isn't new for her. Throughout the 2018 midterm election, the 29-year-old often posted Instagram updates. Uh, You're supposed to be perfect all the time on every issue and everything. While supporters call Ocasio-Cortez's online presence refreshing and humanizing, critics have scrutinized her Instagram posts, her clothes, and finances. Who have been sending me messages and having my back because that's the only reason I'm here. She isn't the only politician embracing social media in this way. Other Democratic representative-elects, such as Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, and Ayanna Presley, have also had active online voices. We out here. <laughs> Former Democratic candidate Beto O'Rourke frequently live streamed and posted personal narratives during his bid for a Texas Senate seat. Wherever you are, I hope it is a good Wednesday morning. One of the most voracious social media users, President Trump, uses Twitter to break news, applaud his administration's achievements, and attack his opponents. Despite pushback, freshman Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez continues to openly share her experiences online. The halls of Capitol Hill have historically held an impression of secrecy and veiled political processes. Will this type of trailblazing on social media open the doors to Capitol Hill or deepen the debate over access and privacy?